how do I ensure that everyone on my team is clear on their project deliverables without ever seeing them in person? In these Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts videos, we try to provide engineering managers with advice to help them build winning teams. Now, in this video, I want to respond to a question I received from an engineering manager who, of course, is now dealing with all of the digital work, right? Everything is remote, digital communications, meetings, video chats. The question was, how do I ensure that everyone on my team is clear on their project deliverables without ever seeing them in person? Great question. I'm going to give you three strategies that you can utilize to make sure that your team is clear on their deliverables. The first one, and this is an obvious one if you've done any kind of project management in the past, have a project kickoff meeting at the beginning of each project and clearly define the deliverables of each team member. Very clear, you could do it on a video chat or over the phone, however you may do it, but make sure that everyone is addressed in that meeting and they know what their deliverables are before they leave the meeting. Number two, and this is kind of a follow-up to that first one, but there should be a shared living document somewhere for each project that describes the team members and their deliverables on that project. And maybe you do it for your teams, you have their deliverables, depends on you know, what approach you're taking. But the point is, is that at any time, you or any of your team members can open this shared document and see what their deliverables are and possibly update it as they go. Number three, and this is an important one that a lot of managers don't do, once in a while, maybe weekly, have your team members write you a short email with some bullet points of all of the deliverables that they currently have on their plate. This is where you can find the discrepancies. Many times what will happen is a team member might email a manager and the manager expects four things to be coming from them and there's only two or three on that list and that's where the disconnect is picked up. So from time to time, have them send you the list and make sure that it is in accordance with what you're expecting. So quick recap, number one, have a good project kickoff meeting for every project where you define deliverables for each person on your team. Secondly, have a shared live document that lists the deliverables for each of your team members. And last but not least, of course, from time to time, maybe weekly, have your team members send you an email with a list of bullet points of the deliverables that they're working on so you can make sure they match up with your expectations. You can use any or all of these in any combination you wish, but I hope you find them helpful in being the best engineering manager you can be even under completely remote circumstances. Please subscribe to this playlist as we put out these Engineering Manager 8020 shorts weekly, and we will try to continue to help you engineer your own success.